look at this example of Venn diagram. There are two set A and its subset B is also there. Now A represents some real numbers and B represents the even numbers in those real numbers. And now the second Venn diagram it shows B as the boys in the school, G as the girls in the school and T is the tennis players. Because we know there can be girls also who are tennis players, there can be boys also who can be a tennis player. So that means they will be intersecting. Now look at the third Venn diagram. Over here C represents the boy who play cricket, T represents the boy who play tennis, G represents the boy who play golf. And over here this is the common intersection of it. That can be that there can be boys who can play tennis, golf and cricket three of them all together. So this is how basically we represent the Venn diagram for any of those given situations. Now let's look at the various operations on the set. The very first is the union. A set A and B be the two set and the union of A and B is a set of those elements which belongs to either set A or set B or to both A and B. We usually read this as A union with B. So over here this Venn diagram shows A union with B. Next is the intersection of two sets. Let A and B be the two set. The intersection of A and B is a set of all those elements that belongs to both A and B. And we write down like this, A intersection with B. And we represent this in this way. Now next we define what exactly is a cardinal number N. Where N A represents number of elements in set A. Now over here remember using this Venn diagram we can say N of A union with B is simply equals to number of elements in set A plus the number of elements in set B. Whereas using this diagram we can say that number of elements in A union with B is simply equals to number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B minus the number of elements in A intersection with B. So remember the last term has to be subtracted because it has been counted twice once into A and once into B. So that's why we have to subtract A intersection with B. Now let's see how to write down the Venn diagram of three set A, B and C. Now these are the three set where this represents set A, this is set B and this is set C. They are intersection of either two sets together or even three sets together. Now let's look at this one. This red portion only represent set A while this blue represents only set B. This dark blue represents only set C. While this yellow represents only set A and B. While this brown set represents only set B and C. And this represents only set A and C. An intersection of all these set A, B and C together gives this green portion that is this one. Now let's consider an example to understand how to solve a given situation using a Venn diagram. It says in a group of 1000 persons 760 can speak Hindi and 430 can speak Bengali. Find how many can speak both of them. Now let's say H represents the set who, repre who can speak Hindi, B represents who can speak Bengali. Now to find how many can speak both of them, we have to find out the intersection of both H and B. So let's say the intersection of both H and B is represented by letter B. And the only set H represents by letter A and only B can be represented by letter C. 
Now we know that A plus B is equals to 760 while B plus C is equals to 430 and A plus B plus C is simply 1000. Now we know that A is simply equals to 570 because we have 1000 minus 430 that gives us 570. Similarly, we can calculate C by doing 1000 minus 760. So this gives us C as 240. Now finally, B can be calculated as 190. So now we can say that 190 people can speak both of them. So we can, in other words, write down this as N times of H union of B is equals to number of elements in set H plus number of elements in set B minus the number of elements in the intersection of set H and B. Plug in all the values, so we get the intersection of H and B as 190. So these are the three different ways to solve this question. Now let's look at another example. It says a survey of 60 people was taken and the following results were seen. 28 customers drank juice, 29 customers drank tea, 32 customers drank coffee. And now there were few customers who drank both tea and coffee, who drank both tea and juice, who drank both juice and coffee, and who drank both tea, coffee and juice. So these are those customers. Now we can convert this in a form of a Venn diagram and it looks like this. Now based on this Venn diagram the very first question says how many customers drank only juice? There were 28 customers who drank juice. Out of this there were few who drank juice and tea, who drank juice and coffee and there were few who drank tea, coffee and juice all together. So we will subtract those customers now. So from 28 you subtract 5, 10 and 3. We simply get our answer as 10. Now next it says how many customers did not drink juice, tea or coffee. So there were 7 such customers who did not drink juice, tea or coffee. Then it says how many customers drank only coffee. Again we will do the same thing from total of 32 customers we will subtract 8, 10 and 3 and we get our answer as 11. In the similar way we will try the question number 4. So with this we come to the end of this topic. I hope you understood everything about set and now we'll be able to try the questions based upon it. So thank you and goodbye.